Throughout the game, I saw Johnny Jordan get in at center, Moore move to guard. Is that part of a standard rotation now, or is that due to injuries today? No, what, we had no injuries today. Um, as we were coming through camp before, you know, the injury bug flew in to, to town, um, you know, we were looking to play multiple you know, packages with our linemen because we've got a lot of good linemen, right? And obviously Redmond's a center, but he's very talented at guard. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Johnny can come in and play. We have the tackles, so we're getting closer to being healthy. Uh, Marcus Miner should be back next week and be healthy. He was out again today, so he wasn't able to play. So we're going to try to keep our guys fresh. I mean, I think when you have confidence and have the ability to play seven or eight linemen, it gives you some real flexibility. You know, obviously, D-line will rotate like every three or four players. They try to correct it. Yeah. That's what makes O-line so special. But the fact to be able to play them and have a rotation, I think, is something that is a, a very unique situation. It shows the depth we have at O-line, and it's a, it's, a, it's a good deal for us. Darius Brockett with WBGR Sports. Uh, I know you don't like stats, but you have five takeaways. How often do you and the I love defensive stats <laughs> when they're for us. How often, how often do you and the defensive coordinator stress get, being aggressive on the ball? Well, we that's our number one goal, and we talk about turnover margin all the time. And in, in our game, if you win the turnover margin, and again we can test the the, the the line. I guess I know, you know, I don't know what the percentage is, but somebody probably can figure it out. But if you win the turnover margin, you normally win the football game, right? It's a pretty high percentage. So we talk about it all the time. Every practice we start is a ball, a ball security on offense and a takeaway drill on defense. So we're we're emphasizing it, and our defensive kids are bought into it. On offense right now, the quarterbacks, you know, all our, we've had you know, like, what, three interceptions and two fumbles, correct? I think we have five turnovers on offense. And um, I think that's right. So we had another we had a fumble today, so we had one against PG, and today and we've had three picks. So um, we've had five turnovers on offense, but we have a lot of takeaways. So it was a great – our defense played very well, and, again, they're around the football. When you're standing and watching, those things don't happen. When you're chasing the ball and you're around the ball, things happen. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Uh, Phil Jones from Post Game Central. Uh, congratulations today on tonight. Excuse me, congratulations today on uh, the win. Uh, third down conversions, I know it's been a struggle for you guys this season. Uh, you guys went 7-15. You guys look like you guys can make this a consistent trend and build off of it from today's game. I think, again, as you mentioned, it's first and second down, so you're not third and nine. Or what, last week we had, what, third and 36 or third and 450 or whatever that one was. So, um, you know, the third down is based upon – have it manageable down the distances. Then we had one today, I know, with Piglers, and then we, we converted one, and we had a motion penalty, which those things are, you know, that's all me. we got to get that off the film. But So that was another good play. Um, and then we, I think we converted one in the fourth quarter going the other way there, and we caught it, but we came up short. Again, it's because we got behind the chain. So if we can be manageable on third down, we do feel pretty good about where we're at. So it was a good day. And again, once it's over, it's over, and it's on to the next one. But uh, I think our guys played well. even though it is on to the next one. How, how much progress do you feel like has been made here over, over the last six games and seven weeks, and how promising do you think things look for the second half? Well, I think, you know, to be, you know, we sat there. As coaches, all we want to do is win, and you hear our kids and really, really proud of them. I mean, we just want to win. That locker room was awesome. Like, you, you everybody doesn't get to – that's why we do what we do, and that's why we coach and work all these hours. Um, so we wanted to be 4-2. and two. When, it, when it was zero on the clock, we wanted to be 4-2. and two. Three to nothing. 99 to 98, whatever it was, we wanted to be. And as a coordinator, right, you want your side of the ball to play better. Right? You always want that to be better. I wish we, we should have scored every drive, and I'm down there doing what I do and all that. And defense, they play great, but that's not it. Our kids have bought into, our, our whole building is bought into winning. We just want to win. And uh, we're 4 and 2. And the guy said it, we're going to come in tomorrow, we're going to enjoy it tonight. I promise. And. Uh, we're going to enjoy it tomorrow with our players because they deserve to enjoy a win and have nothing else bother them. They need to be happy. They deserve it. 
and then we're going to come back and we're going to get to work tomorrow night as coaches and we're going to work all day Monday and they're going to go to class and on Tuesday this one's over and we're 0-0 again. we got to win be 1-0 next week. So we don't look back. We don't look down the road past the next one. But really proud of our players, the resiliency they have. And, I mean, I don't know how. I mean, you're watching it. They look like they're playing hard, I think, right? Anybody that says they're not, I'd be happy to talk to you. They're playing hard. They're playing together. And that's that's what we're most proud of. Obviously, you, you want to win them all. But uh, that's what we're most proud of as a staff. Uh, man, in terms of penalties today, are they when, when you have the type of penalties you had today, are they – more acceptable to you because as you, you they're, they're not the, the no the no talent ones. well we had uh, I know we had a motion penalty on offense and then we had we line we had the shift on third down I think we had another motion when we put a couple of backup linemen in so that was three there right we had two roughing the passers we have a horse collar penalty so we're at six I don't remember the, the other ones right now off the top of my head but none of them are okay you know it, it, I've got to do a better job um, and we talk about it and we emphasize it. The thing we're not going to do is we're not going to play scared, right? We're not going to play scared to make a mistake. We're not going to coach scared to make a mistake. And um, that's a fine line, though, right? We can't lose the game doing silly things. So the no talent issues, I know we had three at least. Um, we can't have those. Uh, man, I think we had a uh, punt. We had an illegal formation, right? So that was four. I can probably think of them all in a minute, but I'll waste your time. So um, none of them are okay. He did the game. Like the horse collar one, uh, you know, I, I don't know. And I shouldn't say it wasn't, but that was a that was a heat of the moment game, right? He grabbed him. They called it. Good call. But uh, so we gotta be smart about the ones that are no talent and the roughing the passer. You know, we gotta look at those and be smarter about that. But we're playing hard and we're not gonna we're not gonna go out there and set up a board that says if you get a penalty, we're gonna put your name on here. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna play with great passion, great energy, and we're gonna try to play smarter and I gotta coach better. Just uh, on the first count, but Byron, was that the best You know, I, I can't speak to that yet because I, I went, you know, until we watched the film, if it was the best game. But I know you can feel him out there. And I, I'll speak to him. He is a tremendous young man. He has been a leader for us. He's a captain for us today. Um, you know, he, those guys, they're awesome. When they come off the field, let's go, coach. Let's get it. We don't score. We got you, coach. And, and, um, and not just to me. That's what I'm talking to me. It's with their teammates and all that. So he, I think he's come in and, and been a tremendous teammate. Obviously, you could transfer in and. You know, we're all realistic to come where he is and the history he's had in recruiting and you guys all make him out to be like, you know, all these wonderful stats and stars, right? He doesn't act like that. He comes in and says, I'm a teammate, I'm going to work, and he's playing really hard. So I, I really like him a lot and love the way he's working for us. I'm proud of him. Yeah, Coach, um, it's easy for us to forget that Kasim's only played nine games yeah. in college. Right. Um, talk about his maturity and the progress he's made and how that goes for the future. This, this, uh, I think both quarterbacks are the future is unbelievable for this place and, and um, with the young talent we have. I think anybody that looks at all the skill we have, um, you know, the great players we have on both sides of the ball, there are a lot of them are young. I mean, Kasim, as you mentioned, he was 18. I didn't know that, and I'm sure you're right. He was 18 and 21 last year. He played one game, right? He played the end of the opener, right? And he played the start of the third game. And all of a sudden, he's supposed to go out there and, you know, meet Joe Montana. And, and that's not you know, that's not how it works. We sit in that room, all the, you know, all the blame comes on the quarterback, and the, and the quarterbacks understand that. That's how it works. They get too much blame and they get too much credit. Um, he's got to play better at times, but he made some plays today, too. Some of those throws he made, I'm not sure everybody else could have made those throws. So we believe in him. We believe in Pig. I thought Pig made some good throws. Like I said, we had the motion throw. That was a really good third down throw today that we made. So both of them are playing well. Um, obviously, we want to improve. I mean, he, you know, if you ask the question to him, obviously, yeah, you know, we, we think about all the ones that don't work. But uh, we'll continue to get better. We'll continue to make plays. If we're sitting there next week and we win a game, we'll be happy. And that's all that matters. All right.